Out there in our cities, allotments, our back gardens and balconies, quite revolutions taking place. Our, our growing love for flavours and recipes from other cultures is, is enriching not only what we eat and how we eat, but also it's changing what we want to grow. And as we discover different ways of growing, our gardens are evolving at an incredible rate at the moment. Uh, you know, and capturing the richness and diversity of these kitchen gardens, whether they are, I don't know, urban food forests or traditional wall gardens or allotments or even a collection of containers by the back door or balcony, that's what this book is all about. Whether you're part of that new wave of people wanting to grow some of what they eat for the first time, however little, or you're already doing it, you'll find ideas and inspiration aplenty here in the new kitchen garden. There's maybe 200 delicious invitations to grow uh, your favourite flavours and textures, but also some tastes and experiences that may be new to you. So if you want to know how to grow the best varieties of, of asparagus or carrots or potatoes, I'll tell you, but I'll also talk about chocolate vine, uh, the most delicious dwarf kiwis, uh, amazing aromatic anise hyssop and many, many others. And as well as that, I'll be offering you advice about how to create a kitchen garden that suits you, uh, suits your space, it suits your time that you want to give to it. But I've also invited some brilliant innovative gardeners to show you what works for them as well. So you'll have a dozen incredible productive gardens with their gates flung open by those who've created them, got their methods and thinking laid out, but also plans and planting suggestions. Every one of them is inspiring in its own way and each has given me hints and ideas that have made my own kitchen garden richer. There's everything from uh, an urban community garden to the most productive no-dig plot, my nine-year-old daughter's container garden, we've got Raymond Blanc's heritage garden at the Manoir where he grows for the chefs, we've got a food forest on a city centre rooftop, there's a garden of metre square plots and there's the most incredible allotment that will change your idea of what an allotment can be uh, and much, much more besides. The new kitchen garden is for everyone. It's all about food, it's all about pleasure and flavour, it's for anyone who ever wondered what it would be like to grow some of what they eat, and it's for those who are already doing it who want some new ideas. The new kitchen garden, how to grow some of what you eat no matter where you live.